Hey, it's Alfrock here. Let's play GeoGuessr. It is Wednesday, and we have been challenged by Wade. What a wonderful Wade Wednesday. This is... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, we've been challenged by Wade, of course, a longtime contributor here and a personal friend of mine. And if you would like to submit your own challenge, uh, I'll tell you right now, stick around to the end because I will t tell you how to do that. Jay, remind me at the end of the video that I have to tell people how to <laughs> send in challenges. All right, so this is a challenge called Douglas. Excuse me. And uh, there, there is text in this. So there's an intro, and then there's stuff to be read after each part. So here we go. We're going to learn a little a little knowledge today, a little history. Oh, my camera's getting all fuzzy on me. It's a little weird. I don't know. Well, we got to tweak all that stuff. But if you didn't watch Monday's episode, we have a new computer set up that we're still kind of tweaking everything. But here we go. When a man rises himself, raises, excuse me, when a man raises himself from the lowest condition in society to the highest, mankind pay him the tribute of their admiration. When he accomplishes elevation by native energy, guided by prudence and wisdom, their admiration is increased. But when his course onward and upward, excellent in itself, furthermore proves a possible, what had hitherto been regarded as impossible reform, then he becomes a burning and a shining light on which the aged may look with gladness, the young with hope, and the downtrodden as a representative of what they may themselves become. To such a man, dear reader, it is my privilege to introduce you. Uh, this is James McCune Smith from the introduction of My Bondage and My Freedom, one of uh, Douglas's autobiographies. Auto Biographies. Of course, we're talking Frederick Douglass, by the way. All right, so read only after part one, which means we now need to play. This is a challenge all about Frederick Douglass. It's Tapper's Corner something? Tapper something, 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 something. We're in the middle of nowhere. 50 miles an hour on a two-lane road is never a good sign. Um, so that way it's going fast. What's this? It's the, oh, well, that's beautiful. It's the Maryland 303. Not surprising we would be in Maryland for a challenge like this. Uh, but look at this zoom here. This is not the world zoom. So this is going to be some interesting locations that we've got going on. But we appear to be in Maryland. It's a Maryland 303. Adam recognizes this. I would hope. I should probably go towards the town, but I'm just going to zip down the 303 for a little bit here just to see if it's it shows me anything other than corn and trees. And right now the answer is no. So I think we're going to end up going back the other way, but it's a start. What's this? Ooh, actually, this, this is working out okay. It's where the 303 meets the 309. Hmm. This went under a train track. Is that enough? Maryland's not exactly a, a small state, but it's not exactly a big state either when it comes down to it. It's just got that weird shape, which makes it a little more prohibitive to search. Uh, let's see, there's the 304. There's the 309. What luck! It's definitely the 303. The 309 and the 303. Right here. Why, by golly, we're by Queen Anne. We're at this intersection right now. Which means we started, like, here. Were we actually at the corner of the intersection? Yeah, we were, like, in the intersection. But let's just be, let's just be exact here. Should be within 15 meters regardless. Awesome. Dude, you only got 22 points on this round? Man, that sucks. Obviously, he's just clicking to see what the locations are. Never heard of the name. Maybe talk along the challenge who he was. Assuming, oh yeah, Frederick Douglass was an American. We're gonna learn all about that. That's the whole point of this thing. Like it's going to, it's gonna go through uh, for interest. Um, so here we go. Read after part one. This is gonna talk about him. So here we go. Or Jay can link to his Wikipedia article. And Talbot County, Eastern Shore, Maryland, near Easton, the county town of that county. There is a small district of country, thinly populated, and remarkable for nothing that I know of. More than for the worn-out, sandy, desert-like appearance of its soil, the general dilapidation of its farms and fences, the indignant and spiritless character of its inhabitants, and the prevalence of ague and fever. The name of this singularly unpromising and truly famine-stricken district is Tuckahoe, a name well-known to all Marylanders, black and white, from My Bondage, My Freedom. So he wrote My Bondage, My Freedom, right? Uh, Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey was born into slavery. The exact date is unknown, but presumably in February of 1818, most likely in a small cabin just east of where we started. He was fortunate to be sent to work in Baltimore, where he began to learn to read. He later often said knowledge is the pathway from slavery to freedom. When he was being moved to a plantation, he began teaching other slaves to read the Bible at a weekly Sunday school. This continued around six months until it was broken up by angry plantation owners. So he's a former slave turned freedman um, right around the time of all the, the, the issues in the United States. Those issues. It's a lot of issues. 
So we're going to be learning about Frederick Douglass. That is definitely a home. Welcome. You've got mail. It's obviously a national park now. It's the Frederick Douglass NHS. Can we go in? Apparently not. really want to like get onto the street oh Christ well I mean we are on a street so I guess I shouldn't complain that that much can I jump to the actual main road it is possible to escape while well, I'm trying there's a view inside the house but no link between them well so be it this is a close enough escape for now. No, it's not. Never mind. Get me onto the road. Come on now. Oh, don't tease me. Get me onto the road. You know you want to. Frederick Douglass Home Visitor Information Department of the Interior National Park Service. Yes, yes, I know all of this business. Uh, just let me out. Honestly, the landscaping firm might be able to help. It doesn't. Well, not yet. Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia. Okay, that helps. It's a torpedo Factory Art Center. The thing is, I don't know how big this park is. Not in Arlington, but that's not a red herring. Yeah. Go back to the house and look at the city view. Wait, what? Right, that it's north of us. In hills. Yeah, we're like down in Mount Vernon or something. I can see some landmarks to the west. Well, not from this view. Oh ho! All right, there's the mall. So the mall is northwest of us. So we're farther north than I thought, because there's the there's the the mall. So, um. Is this close enough that we're like down here? I think more likely we're down in here. The problem is there's just so many parks in this area. It's labeled at a high zoom level. Oh, well shit. There's the city of Douglas.
There it is. It's in Anacostia. Outside the front door. Uh, I'm assuming that's the front door. Close enough for 5,000 points. Man, only 26 points again. It's, it's rough for you there, Wade. Only well, lives to part two. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. Find out just what any people will quietly submit to, and you have found out the exact measure of injustice and wrong which will be imposed on them. It's from 1857. Douglas purchased the Cedar Hill property in 1877, where he would live the final years of his life when he wasn't traveling the world. In 1895, he died there of a heart attack at seven, age 77. He continued to advocate for voting rights and political reform his whole life. In a speech delivered on the 15th of November of 1867, Douglas said, A man's rights rest in three boxes, the ballot box, jury box, and the cartridge box. Let no man be kept from the ballot box because of his color. Let no woman be kept from the ballot box because of her sex. By this time, Jim Crow laws and voter suppression had already been established throughout the South. Reconstruction failed, Douglas explained, because the Republic gave freedmen the, machine, the machinery of liberty, but denied them the steam to put it in motion. The Republic, he said, called them citizens, but left them subjects, and it called them free, and almost left them slaves. Thank you for the uh, 5,000 uh, points right there. What just hit? Must have been the cap or something? We find ourselves at the first convention for women's rights held on this corner in 1848 in New York, Otherwise, that's a huge red herring. In Syracuse, maybe. At the corner of Fall and Minders. It's not Syracuse. It's likely near it. But we'll start with Syracuse. Where there's a lot of bricks. Or a lot of um, grids here. Alright, so before we go digging, let's do some more clues here. Elizabeth Cady Stanton Park, sure, obviously. Elizabeth Cady Stanton, huge, huge figure in the suffragette movement. Women's Hall of Fame. Ba -da -ba. Police. I don't know road signs. What's up with that? There it is. Fall Street and State Street. Welcome to Seneca Falls. Excuse me. Seneca Falls. Seneca Falls. Uh, I should know where those are, and yet I don't recall. Seneca Falls. And the Seneca were kind of like all through New York, so it's not that helpful. There's West Seneca. Fort Douglas. Guys, do you hear that? Do you hear what's not in this music? There's there's no audio artifacts. One of the problems that we wanted to solve has been solved. It's connected. -y. I can't believe I don't remember where Seneca Falls is, because I feel like we've been to Seneca Falls before, and I just don't know. All right, well, we'll get more. That'll help. 20 to 5 in the 414. 20. 20 is up here. 5 in the 4. There's the 5. It is indeed there. Seneca Falls. All right, good. When in doubt, get more clues. 
I'm assuming that that's Fall Street. It's not telling me. Where are we going? We're going east at the moment. Okay, so no, this is Fall Street. Women's Right National Historical Park. Huh. Mendersi Street. Where exactly did we start? Right on the corner here. That'll do, pig. Hey, 270 points on that one. You're getting closer. Ubiquitous Chinese takeout place. Yeah, it's true. Women should have justice as well as praise, and if she is to disperse, dispense with either, she can better afford to part with the latter than the former. Douglas was one of the few male speakers at the first Seneca Falls Convention in 1848. He saw parallels between disenfranchisement of women and African Americans and pressed for both to be given the vote. In this denial of the right to participate in government, not merely the degradation of women and the perpetuation of a great injustice happens, but the maiming and repudiation of one half of the moral and intellectual power of the government of the world. Frederick Douglass, man. He's a smart guy. We're in Baltimore. The story of the Underground Railroad. We're at the corner of President and Fleet Street. Hopefully the Demon Barber is not in. The Ravens play near here. Should be relatively easy to find then, one would assume. What's the large road here that's not Fleet Street? It doesn't say. It's President Street. Alright, so it is at President and Fleet Street. Uh, Baltimore. Near here, this is where the Ravens play. A lot of history in Baltimore. Ignore the Ravens banners. Okay, done. If that's the case, then I need to I need a bigger clue. Because that's not going to give me enough. So let's follow President Street, I think, for a while. President and Pratt? That's not helpful. The Baltimore Medical Center opening here. Okay, well that will help, actually. The Medical Center should be bigger. Why is the map not moving? There we go. But not the University of Medical. This is the Kaiser Permanente. Ooh, 283 north. We're south of 83. That helps. Where's 83? It's way up there. What? 283 north. Oh, 83 cuts through downtown. Okay, so that doesn't help. Um, President Street. It's a little Italy. Ooh, is the neighborhood uh, marked that way? Museum of Maryland, African American History and Culture. There's a lot of museums. Fleet Street is marked. Okay, yeah, so is President Street, I'm sure. What do you mean that Fleet Street is a neighborhood? Oh, that Gay Street's a neighborhood. I don't see Fleet Street. Go north on President or west on Pratt. No, 
Lombard Street, Fort McHenry. Where's the bay? There's the bay. There's Fort McHenry. Now, wait a minute. Is this 83 ripping down to the center? Of the yes. You're killing me, Smalls. Ignore Fort McHenry. God damn it, Baltimore. You're a shit city. I don't want to be on this, thank you. What just happened? Why am I now on a... Uh, God damn, freaking Baltimore, you piece of shit! I hate you, Baltimore. I'm never visiting you again. You can, you can just go away. Nobody likes you. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, I don't care about the first score, so. <laughs> Escape from slavery, even in Baltimore, was very difficult. The railroad from Baltimore to Philadelphia was under regulations so stringent that even free colored travelers were almost excluded. They must have free papers, they must be measured and carefully examined before they are allowed to enter the cars. They only went in the daytime, even when so examined. The steamboats were under regulations equally stringent. All the great turnpikes leading northward were beset with kidnappers, a class of men who watched the newspapers for advertisements for runaway slaves, making their living by the accursed reward of slave hunting. Douglas made several attempts to escape, succeeding on a third try. In 1837, he met and fell in love with Anna Murray, a free black woman in Baltimore. Further motivated to join her, and with her support among others, he boarded a train from the Philadelphia, Wilmington, and Baltimore Railroad on September 3, 1838. The station, now a museum, replaced the old depot. False papers prepared ahead of time secured his passage. This was only the first leg of his journey, however, which required him to cross the Susquehanna by ferry, reboard the train to Wilmington, take a steamship upriver to Philadelphia, then finally to New York. He married Murray there in September 8, oh, on September 15th. I've often been asked how I felt when first I found myself on free soil, and my readers may have shared the same curiosity. There is scarcely anything in my experience about which I could not give a more satisfactory answer. A new world had opened upon me. If life is more than breath and the quick round of blood, I lived more in one day than in a year in my slave life. Anguish and grief, like darkness and rain, may be depicted, but gladness and joy, like the rainbow, defy the skill of pen or pencil. 83 ends and turns into president? Oh, over here. Oh, it's in Harbor East. Got it. I still don't see Fleet Street. Not as a neighborhood, anyway. I must have misunderstood you. All right, our final location takes us to somewhere in Europe, which is why this map looks weird. It's Night View, which I appreciate. City Square and Keys, Bolton Street. And until you see the top of the, the bit on the beginning, I would have said we're in UK somewhere, but the Waterford City Council. Oh, we might be. Is that, uh, that could be Welsh or Irish, maybe? I'm not sure. Theatre Royal. The museum is open. Bishop's Palace. Open seven days a week, all year round. Welcome. It's a medieval museum. We've been expecting you for ages. If you're going to make me a Baltimore challenge for the stream, I may hate you forever. I won't, but it's very confusing. Hey, look, it's daytime. D 
damn it, why are you blurry? Let me out. Let me out. I want out. Get me out of the street view. Or right, get me into street view. Nope. It's not the UK or the plates would be or yellow. So I'm forced to conclude we're in Ireland. Yes, Waterford, Ireland. Well, we were crossed by... Yeah, there's the medieval treasures. There's the theater. There's the Cafe Royale. All right, I don't know why we're here. It's be interesting to find out. Cool. Not long after his escape, Douglas went on a speaking tour in the United Kingdom. He met with prominent abolitionists who had worked to secure the practice of cessation in the colonies by 1833, and many other society figures. Arguing for more pressure to be brought to bear on the slaveholding U.S., he spoke at many places and visited all over Ireland. The blue plaque on the door where you began commemorates one such. He wrote how struck he was at the difference in treatment he received. Racial bigotry was a genuine American feeling, Douglas wrote in an 1854 lecture. It assumes that a black skin in the East excites the same prejudice which we see here in the West. Eleven days and a half gone, and I have crossed 3,000 miles of the perilous deep. Instead of a democratic government, I am under a monar monarchical government. Instead of the bright blue sky of America, I am covered with the soft gray fog of the Emerald Isle. I breathe, and lo, the chattel becomes a man. I gaze around in vain for one who will question my equal humanity, claim me as his slave, or offer me an insult. I employ a cab. I am seated beside white people. I reach the hotel. I enter the same door. I am shown the same parlor. I dine at the same table, and no one is offended." I find myself regarded and treated at every turn with the kindness and deference paid to white people. That's a direct quote from my bondage, my freedom. The true problem is a national problem. There is no Negro problem. The problem is whether the American people have honesty enough, loyalty enough, honor enough, patriotism enough to live up to their own constitution. A man is never lost while he is still earnestly thinks himself worth saving. And as with a man, so with a nation, which is uh, also from my bondage, my freedom, direct quote. You forgot to put the sentence about how supporters raised funds to buy his freedom on that trip. Well, there you go. Cool. The plates are not yellow. You are correct. Thank you, Wade, for sending that one. It's very informational, very interesting indeed. And, of course, if you'd like to do the same, you can do so by just heading over to GeoGuessr and finding a map that you would like me to play and creating a challenge link. You then send me the link to that challenge in a private message on our Discord server. And if you don't know where that is, you're watching on Discord Live or on Twitch Live right now, exclamation point Discord will give you the link. Otherwise, you can go to purplefrog .play, purplefrogplays.com to find out more information. Again, if you're watching on Twitch, stick around. There's more to come. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. Until next time, cheers.